Earl's fam, today was the day. Harold left for Ranger School, and I'm still here. But that's okay. <laughs> really, you know, that's me like trying to be positive in a crappy situation, something sometimes I gotta do. But I was thinking, and I think I'm gonna title this series Dear Harold. So, honey, these vlogs, while you're gone, whether it be 61 days or 200 days, I don't know, but whatever it is, this is what I was up to. So, Dear Harold, day one starts today. Eyes in the sky, gazing far into the night. I raise my hand to the fire, but it's no use. Cause you can't stop it from shining I woke up through. at 4.30 in the morning to write you some letters for Darby. Okay guys, so after uh, Harold went to sleep last night, I got my phone and started doing all this research. And pretty much the guys only get mail like one time at the end of the first phase. And so I was like, well, well that's crap. Because I was planning on just sending him the letters instead of writing them at a time because I hadn't really had time. So then I was like, okay, whatever. I'll just wake up early and I'll write some letters for him. So I woke up at 4.30 and I wrote him a letter every day for the first week. It's called Rap Week because that's like the hardest week and when most people fail. Um, so I wrote him a letter every day for that and then a couple, not too many, maybe like five open one letters for the rest of Darby phase. And then I'll write him more letters for the other phases, but he'll get a pass after Darby. This is what is currently happening while I write these letters. They won't leave me alone. I mean, I love them. I think they know. Do you guys know something's up and is that why you're on my lap right now? I just don't understand. <laughs> what are you doing, Tracker? Seriously, what are you doing, Nago? I went to go spray the letters I wrote for Harold with my perfume and I kind of went overboard and then the dogs just started sneezing like so much. They would and then like walk away and like sneeze like 10 more times. They just started laughing. I thought it was hilarious. Anyways, time to make some sausage gravy and biscuits for my honey. Eventually you woke up and it was time to make your breakfast. Got the sausage on, Ranger's whining at me. Houston, we have a problem here. It says stir milk gradually into gravy mix. Yeah, and you see that is normally where our milk resides. Crap. We got some sausage, egg, and biscuit. <clears throat> and we've got an eager ranger school candidate. <laughs> you didn't even eat your breakfast, really. And there's a huge mess in the kitchen right now that I still haven't cleaned up. We got to the car and realized we didn't have our key. So I told Harold where our other key was, so he ran back in the house. All right, guys, we're in the car. Harold's running in to grab the keys because we forgot them. And I feel like crap, like straight up horrible. So aren't we glad that I'm the one who's not going to ranger school and Harold is because I would probably fail during the in-processing which happens today because I feel that bad. Anyways, I think the plan for me is once I drop off Harold, I obviously have to let the puppies go out. But then I'm gonna crash hard because I'm tired. I think I need rest because my head has been killing me for like three days straight. And I think maybe it's like because of the stress and stuff like that. So I just need to chill out and then I'll edit yesterday's vlog and get it up. But that's my plan for today is just straight up rest the whole day and try to feel better especially my head. I just realized that exactly two months ago today, you were summoning Mount Everest, and today you left for ranger school. lunch I took about a two hour nap which is decent I guess then Ranger woke me up <laughs> and the kitchen is a mess so I need to do that in a second I finished editing the vlog as well so that's just like exporting and whatnot so I think my shower first I'm really oily and gross and stuff 
So shower, get ready, clean up the kitchen, you know, and then we'll figure things out. A couple other random things that I did today. So I was editing the vlog, and then I always have my Facebook tab open too, and I got this notification to like my high school Facebook thing that was like just created. I think I'm in some like old ones, but basically it's for like all the classes of my high school. And I start scrolling through it and people were posting like every single second. They're posting pictures of themselves and their kids and blah, blah, blah. And I was just like, I probably spent a whole hour scrolling through there and like, what on earth? I just couldn't even believe it. Like some people I didn't even recognize, some people I didn't even know, but like seeing their then and now pictures was insane. So it's just crazy to think how much time has happened from high school until now and how much has changed and even though like our lives you know kept going and we know what happened in ours everybody else's lives were going too and like now they have kids or like I don't know just like crazy stuff and just made me think about the world and how there's like always so much going on that we have no idea about and number two which is pretty cool is that our neighbor upstairs texted me and she's making a really cool salad tonight, which, you know, I'm on a big salad kick right now. And she invited me over for dinner, which I thought was super sweet. Um, so I'm gonna go have dinner with them tonight. I'm not gonna be like a lonely loser eating dinner by myself. I'll save like, you know, the 60 other days or 199 other days to do that. But my other neighbor also texted me and I think we're gonna do something this week or something. And then I had several friends text me and just like giving me support. One of my best friends, Hillary, called me. I talked to her for like 35 minutes, I think. Like, I think she was at work too. I don't even know, maybe it was her lunch break. No, it was earlier than lunch. No, maybe it was lunch. I don't know, but it was really good to talk to her. And she's coming over this weekend. I think I told you that, but I'm not really sure. So I'm doing well, honey. And I hope you're doing good too. I just realized how positive I was for like being excited about how well I'm doing and it's literally been like five hours. <laughs> I think it's time we tackle the dishes because it is nasty up in here. But let's turn on some music. Let's get it going. Let's have a little party up in here and we'll clean. Puppies, are you ready to dance with mommy while she cleans? Huh? Are you ready to have a dance party? I think she says yes. Honey, you've been gone for like five hours and I already have an issue with the TV. I don't know what I'm supposed to do here. I'm trying to play music like I always do and the little button on the top isn't popping up and it won't pop up for the YouTube or for anything and I don't know what I'm supposed to do. You're supposed to fix these things. Crap. Seriously, device missing. It says it's on. I don't understand. So, we tried to lay down on the ground to look under here and look. Okay, I can't see anything. This is all way down. Ow, tracker. <laughs> Wait, just, okay. And that's what just happened. Am I supposed to know which one of these things is for Chromecast? Is any of these even for Chrome, Chrome blah, 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 cast, whatever the heck it is? Well, this sucks. Now I don't want to clean the stinking dishes. No, I don't. Do you? No, me either. If I can't have a dance party with the puppies, the puppies, then I don't want to clean no dishes. But it smells like sausages, eggs in a house. Yeah, tracker. Okay, I'm losing my mind a little bit. Got a headache going on. I think I'm going to clean these dang dishes. <sighs> Why couldn't this happen literally yesterday? Like, just happened yesterday so Hero could have figured it out for me. Not like day one of never talking to my husband ever again. Huh. All right, so checking back in. It is now 8.42. I had dinner with our neighbors. That was so weird, I heard a noise and like I immediately thought like Harold was walking down the hallway. Whew. I had dinner with them. It was like this uh, shrimp avocado salad. It was really good. Um, and then I am about to do a little FaceTime live for some like West Point girlfriends. Best news of the day is that we got the Chromecast fixed. We as in me, but mostly because I got the help and advice of a fellow army wife who I just Facebook messaged who I knew had Chromecast and was like, girl, help me out here. And she helped me out. 
and her husband. It was really her husband. I mean, she was really nice talking to me, but her husband had the idea. So, got that fixed. Hooray. Clean the dishes. That weird noise is trapped right now. And I'm about to go jump on this FaceTime, FaceTime, Facebook live. Okay guys, I have a funny update. So, for the last hour, I was doing a live uh, event chat for the uh, West Point Girlfriends class of 2020, <laughs> which was awesome by the way. And I had so much fun doing it. But prior to making it work right to go directly in our group, I was like, Googling how to put a live video in a group and it said to, like post it on your Facebook page and then share it into the group. Well, lo and behold, that's what I did and every single one of like my friends and like just random Facebook people were like watching it and I was like, oh no, like, this is so wrong. Like this is not supposed to be happening. And so eventually like I realized, oh my gosh. So I ended it but like y'all, I was so embarrassed. Like my cousin was in there, my G little was in there. I'm like, what? They have no idea even what I'm doing and like what this is for. But yeah, that was embarrassing, but that's okay. It was all well worth it because I really had a blast doing that Facebook live event with them. And I thought it was cool just to share more of my like experiences. And I laughed a lot <laughs> and like just telling all the stories of, you know, how Harold and I met and like how he proposed and stuff like that. Just made me so happy. So, anyways, about to go to bed here because I'm tired, <laughs> and I'm uh, hoping to get some sleep and feel a little bit better. I've kind of had my headache all day long. So, yep. Next stop, the bed. I think this guy is already <laughs> going to sleep right now. Dude, are you tired? Are you tired, buddy? Yes. Okay, we're gonna go to sleep soon. Let's go to bed. Come on. Let's go night night. Good girl, tracker. Good girl, baby. Hey, good night. And of course, there's this dude. All right, buddy. You ready? You always make me carry you. Okay. You always make me carry you. All righty. Come on. Let's do it. Oh, here we go. Whoa. Okay. Ready to get in there? Great. That's a good boy. Say goodnight to Earl's fam. Love God, love people, make a difference, be thankful. Good night. I'm really gonna miss y'all when I'm going. That's what sucks about being part of the military is like, I gotta say goodbye to y'all for what, 61 days, honey? Minimum. But I also gotta say goodbye to my wife too, which is, I don't know, it's always like the worst thing in the whole world is just saying goodbye. You guys can bust my armpit right now. <laughs> yeah, but you know, they can't see some other things right now. Yeah, I'm making shit. <laughs>